So one of the features I really like about the uh, HTC One X is the design. It's got a really nice soft pillow-like shape to it. And it's just something I really didn't want to cover up with a case. I mean, you can find plenty of cases on eBay by now for about, you know, five bucks that just mass-produced in China that just really cover up such a nice design, and I didn't really want to do that. So one of the things I did was actually print myself my own case at Shapeways. So one of the things I wanted to do when I made my own case is kind of not, you know, hide the design, but also give the... Uh, phone some protection because, well, this is pretty soft plastic and there's already been reports uh, on the uh, forums and stuff of dirt getting embedded in this soft plastic and uh, corners getting scuffed up a bit and uh, so, you know, you got to protect a, a pretty hefty investment like a, a smartphone nowadays. So uh, one of my design goals was to protect the corners protect the glass so at least you know if you have a, the phone sat down on the glass like that it'll actually raise up a little bit keep it off the glass even though it's Gorilla Glass still you you know might as well have a little extra protection and not hide the nice design so that was my goal, uh, original design philosophy and also one of the biggest problems I'm having with the HTC 8X is just turning it on because there's two buttons here, that's the camera, that's the volume, and the power button is up there. It's a very tall phone, so, you know, if you hold it like this, it's kind of hard to get it up, get your thumb up there and power it on. And also, I notice a lot of times if I'm holding it by the side, I'm hitting another button while I uh, try to power it down, and then I'm affecting the, the volume. So my design goal was also to create some type of hold on the side. So, you know, I went ahead and made a 3D representation of the 8X as best as I could using uh, dimensions that I found online, scanning in the front and the back, and also the size. Now this is a very very complex shape. It's really easy to create a uh, iPhone case because it's flat and it's got four round edges. Really simple but when you have something with complex curves like this it's very difficult so I don't even know if this case will even fit. It's anybody's guess right now but right now I've got my uh, case back from Shapeways and time to open it up and see if it fits. See how it turned out. More Shapeways logos. Let's see. Oh, very interesting. So this is the design I came up with. It's definitely a little on the thin side. I might have to do something about that. But you can see the ridges here for holding it. And you can see the design right here. Now, the moment of truth. Let's see if this even fits. So, this is the top. Wow, that fits nice. You can see right here, we've got uh, the buttons that are not covered. And now for the hard part. I'm going to have to make this a lot thicker though because this is just ridiculously flimsy. And I don't think these clips that I made are going to be able to hold in. And here's the top of the case. Yeah, I'm going to have to 
actually make this a lot thicker. Alright, so that's basically the case there. There's definitely some design revisions I'm going to have to do. This is definitely not working because the uh, the case is really, really soft. This material is just really too flexible for this. But the fit is really well. It's a little too big on some areas. And you can see the hinge design that I came up with right here. That snaps in pretty well. The sides are not snapping in just because there's a lot of flex here. And the bottom is snapped in pretty well. And you can see that this right here is raised. There's still quite a bit of powder from the process. But you can see this is raised quite a bit. And actually that feels pretty good. And then allows you to hit the button while gripping in an area that you know is safe to grip on. USB port is uncovered. You can see more clips here. There's the camera button again. You won't have access to the SIM, but that's okay. Camera is uncovered. You got, I've got the T-Mobile version here, but you can see the logo is uncovered. And the speaker grill is uncovered. So, all in all, it came out really well. I'm really quite surprised. And it's holding on there pretty decent. Again, I'm going to have to make a revision to here, because this is not going to work. But all four, four corners are holding in. I'm going to have to make it thicker so there's less flex. But all in all, I'm actually really surprised that it fits so well. I'm really happy with it. It fits almost you know, like a glove. There's very little movement other than the, the case flexing itself. But design-wise, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Now. What you're seeing is just the very basic white material. Here's a uh, sample kit that I got from Safeways. And this is the white nylon material here. Now, some of the other options is a stainless steel, but that's going to add a lot of weight to it and a lot of thickness. Because the minimum thickness, I believe, is 2 millimeters on the stainless steel. Plus, it doesn't have the kind of detail we want. We've got alamide right here. That is aluminum material. My biggest concern with is this is used, basically it uses the nylon material mixed with aluminum powder. And aluminum is a very scratchy material. So it could possibly scratch up the face. So I'm really reluctant to even try to make a case out of the alumide. It might scratch up the phone and well, what's the point of making a case if it's kind of scratch it up. But here's the two materials that I'm really interested in. This is the, the acrylic, the detail acrylic. There's a the black, which I think would look really great on the phone. And the clear, which could be also an interesting option on the phone. And this is a uh, full color sandstone, but this is very uh, brittle and fragile, wouldn't quite work, but I think I can use the, uh, just thicken it up, use the acrylics, and uh, maybe thicken it up and use the nylon, because one thing about the nylon is it's a very porous material, so it will accept paint very well. But yeah, there we have it, there's the case. It's not bad considering, you know, my first attempt at a phone case, but yeah, it's definitely too thin, but you can see how strong the material is not, you know, it, yeah, it's flexible, but it's not breaking, it's not snapping, it's very uh, durable material, so I think that, you know, if I just double the thickness of it, it'll actually work pretty well. 
one of the other things that I was uh, working on, I don't know if you noticed the background, but this felt here is microfiber felt. And right here, this right here is kind of a, a breathable material, but it's waterproof. So I was making, going to make a phone sleeve out of this material here, so the outside is waterproof. And the inside is going to be this microfiber felt. So when it's inside the case... I have to, I mean, just normal general use. I mean, you know, every smartphone is going to have a screen that's going to gather fingerprints and whatnot. You can, I don't know if you can see that pretty well, but you know, when it's in the case with the waterproof case, well, water resistant, just average, you know, walking around, moving around, it'll clear the case, it'll clear the screen right up. And it'll also uh, uh, help clean up the phone a little bit, but you can see I've got all this dust from this stuff here and it's cleaning that dust right off so it's very good material so I'm going to make a uh, pocket out of this with a uh, simple velcro opening and uh, see if there's any interest in that but you know there's definitely a little bit more work to do on this but you can see the direction it's heading to I'll probably thicken this up make a couple of design changes and uh, send it off to the printers for yet another run, but yeah, pretty good. So I'm really happy with how it came out.